Okay, guys, mm -hmm. welcome to Leanne's Angle. I am joined by Justin and Martina of Willing Foot Travel. I love the name. Where did that come from? It came from a Robert Louis Stevenson poem called The Wanderer and started the company nine years ago. We're a luxury travel company, but designing seamless experiences around the world mm -hmm. from the minute you get to the airport to when you have to go home and really concentrating on the guides, the, the, all the pieces that really make a truly memorable time. We work in, uh, we operate all around the world. Um, so we do everything from staycations, um, if people are just looking to get away corporate for a weekend. Retreats. We do corporate retreats, we do honeymoons, baby moons, um, safaris. Anything you can we think of. We do everything, of. beach holidays. I, I see behind you guys, you guys are in a, a pretty beautiful beach back there. Where are y'all at yeah. right now? We're in Turks and Caicos right now. Oh my it's goodness. It's in the British West Indies. Staying, staying in a wonderful uh, villa. And okay. that's part of the reason we're down here is to travel. We spend about 70% of the year traveling to make sure we know the products. And that's what the key part is. So okay. we'll go and stay in a different villa every night to make sure we know where it is. That, because if, you're not, if you don't know what you're selling and what you're trying to explain and what fits right for the right client. So we're really running around hu hustling as much as possible. Well, I mean, that's good for people who are interested in booking your services and, and all of that. So now we're going to, I want to get down to the nitty gritty numbers. Mm -hmm. um, what are you guys' numbers on different social media platforms? I don't need the exacts, but just a general idea. So between the two of us on Instagram, for example, we only have uh, about four to five four thousand. Four to five thousand. Okay. Um, Twitter, another five or six thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Facebook, I would have to check the latest, maybe eighteen hundred. Um, okay. Kind of all started really organically growing um, and trying to post as much as trying to keep up with everything that keeps changing. Of course. Um, a lot of our business is referral and word of mouth as well. Okay. A lot, you have to share the pictures and let people know where you're going to kind of get a feel as well as also encourage people to travel. People feel comfortable knowing that we're out here running around and that places are open and business but is But doing going. it safely. Of course. Okay. And we also have our website. Um, so we generate a lot of business off the website uh, with leads as well. So people will go to the social media platforms and then they'll end up going to the website and putting through a request most times. Now, which one, what, what platform do you guys think is the best for you? What, what have you seen the most traction come from? Probably Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. And Just actually, because it's more visual. Um, so people are, you know, looking for a lot of photos, whether it's the hotels or the beaches or the pools, the surrounding areas. Um, using hashtags is also key. Um, and it so makes them excited. When you get to see something beautiful, it makes you think about, it makes your brain start moving. I think in the beginning, I would say 10 years ago, it was more coming from Twitter than Facebook because there were a lot of travel talks and such. But I think now with visuals being so important and giving right. context, because otherwise without tone, um, at least with pictures, you can get a sense of tone of where you are, what you're doing. Correct. And it, it yes. gets the ball moving. So what got you guys started with this journey? It's kind of a different way to, to go about things and a different kind of business. So what encouraged no. you guys to do this? I think for myself, I, I grew up, I was lucky enough to grow up in travel. Um, my mother used to live in East Africa, filmed cheetahs. Wow. She started her own travel company. My father has another, another area of travel. Okay. And so I've been lucky enough to meet so many, so many different people and cultures and spend my whole life traveling. So I wanted to share that with people because I think what's important is to, when people start to give back to other communities and learn, but as well enjoy. And for me, um, I would say I started in the industry. Um, I've always loved traveling. I studied abroad. Uh, for a semester when I was in college. And right. I started straight out of college at the age of 22 um, for a very high-end luxury hotel representation um, company. Okay. Uh, based. And from there, I kind of grew uh, my business, my book of clients, and I've uh, moved around to various companies to, um, again, for that personal and professional growth. And we met each other. Um, and we've been together now for nine years. So, oh, right, when he started so, the company almost. Yeah, almost when he started the company. So now we are working together um, and just building out the brand as we go, organically, as Justin yeah, mentioned. I really like building things organically and, and through talking to people and sharing. And I love meeting people. I love seeing new places, a new right. way people are being creative and what, whether it's protocols now with pandemic or how people are changing with technology in the rooms or where 
and what kind of outlets there are and what kind of technologies are on the TVs and Sonos and all these pieces. Right. I love all, putting all the pieces together, together to make a perfect, you know, make sure you change someone's life. And the younger demographic that are traveling are really interested in a lot of the cultures and learning from people and moving around. Very true. And so there's a different place for everyone and a different style, which is nice. Everybody sees us in beautiful pictures, but it doesn't mean we're staying in that presidential suite. It means we're seeing it. For and we, we a lot of times don't even get into the pool because we're running around so much. So it, it, but we love it because you're meeting new people and seeing incredible places and you get to share that. Exactly. Especially with the younger kids and with families. And right. So they all grow with it. Now, like, I'm sure with, with all of that different, having a different lifestyle like that, there has been some failures. Like, what have you guys experienced as far as failures have been concerned? Failures is kind of a tough word, but I think, you know, whether it's flights being delayed or canceled or a volcano erupting in Chile, or you then have to navigate the waters as best you can. I mean, this pandemic is a perfect example of it. You, you got to, you know, work on the run and really adjust where you need to. And make sure that you're taking care of every piece along the way and your clients because it's everybody's, it, it affects everyone. We've had, you know, when you have issues with someone losing a passport, for instance, oh, how do you get them to replace it and be able to get going and not get stuck? I wouldn't call anything necessarily a failure as long as they can enjoy the rest of it. So then what about your successes? I'm sure you obviously are doing something right. You have a beautiful background. I want <laughs> to be there personally right now. So what, what have your successes been? Um, I would say just, you know, moving forward through challenges that have come up over the years, um, being in the industry for the amount of time that we both have, um, creating seamless travel itineraries for clients is basically what our strengths are. I think navigating the waters. I think being on the pulse of what's going on. Mm -hmm. I think constantly building the knowledge base and the, and the contacts that we have and why we have almost a 95% return rate and referral rate. I mean, okay. because we're very transparent. Um, we'll say exactly and be blunt and talk about what it, whether it's budget, which is never fun to talk about always, and right. or really being able to read the client and know, okay, here's where you should go next. And this is why and once they trust you, that's the best part. I'm WhatsApping and texting with clients constantly when I'm traveling somewhere because I say, oh, I see this and this is going to be perfect for you. Right. And also keeping on top of new hotel openings, new hotel brands Closings. that are coming up, you know, benefits popping up from hotels and airlines where the airlines are getting involved in planting trees, um, carbon offsetting, essentially. Um, so there's a lot happening behind yeah. the scenes that people don't always know about. So we try to um, keep people up to date with that, all of our clients. If someone has a travel agent or designer that they trust, it's always better to have them book even a hotel. It doesn't matter where it is because there's a lot of times you'll be taken care of better. Right. And we know it. We can tell you which room's facing where and which side instead of you know trying to necessarily go through an online booking platform. And it's kind of the more the conversational side of it. Now, do you, what suggestions do you guys have for somebody else who would consider starting their own business and going through such a crazy somewhat i assume scary venture that you guys have gone yeah. it's to, to, to travel to get out there and if you you know if the travel bug bites you and you really love it is to ask as many questions go out and meet as many people and every little piece of information is important whether it's the type of linens or whether it's uh, you know can they can a chef do vegan or can you know all kinds of these pieces and just really get out there and try to hustle as much as you can running around it doesn't matter what you can start at a you know, starting with a smaller group of properties or concentrate on just one country or just your backyard, start in where you live and start Expand. to move your circle bigger and bigger okay. as you learn your product. You need to know what you're selling. And so I think you just got to love it. You got to realize it's tiring, but you, you just keep going and it'll come. If you do, I believe in, if you do things in the right way in sales and you transparent yes. and you love what you do, it'll come through. And it's, it's a fun, great, job i mean the network of people you meet that love traveling yeah, over the years we've met so many wonderful people at our wedding we had industry people there that are actually friends not just work colleagues yeah, it's a family it's a, it becomes a family so it's really and it's a really interesting and industry ask, and ask for help ask for advice no one knows everything there's consortiums um, that you can join um we're part of one um so we have different added benefits for clients that we get um, you know I mean, just ask other people, ask other, we can always help. If anybody has questions, want to ask about how to start, we started the company or about anything really, is okay. help one another. 
how how would you say that the internet has helped you guys overall with your business? Exposure. And I think being able to be in contact. I mean, there's no excuse to not answer an email within 24 hours, much less within a couple hours. And right. people can WhatsApp and Instagram, they can follow your travels, see where's for now, where which countries are open, right. what protocols are. We can do videos with guides so that they can give they can kind of show some of the passion of what they love in their country or their whether it's a chef, mm -hmm. you know, in Italy and Tuscany doing a cooking class, or if it's a fisherman down in, you know, in Belize. Okay. You, you really you can share more. And we can also do video walkthroughs of property. So right now we're in Turks and Caicos. Um, if we have clients that are interested in a specific property, we can certainly go to that property and do a Zoom call or Skype or whatever it may be, um, yeah. FaceTime, and just give a little tour of the property and check out the beach. Is there seaweed on it? Is there not? What is the sand like? People want to know every uh, fine detail and right. we're the tastemakers making that happen. The gatekeepers, <laughs> the gatekeepers. So to speak. Yeah. No, But I think also just knowing what's going on in the world. I think the internet gives you, I mean, exposure is so huge now. Everybody, you can find out anything and it, it gives you the opportunity to stay up to date and not where you're waiting necessarily for information or getting a visa or right. you know, getting PCR tests done privately so that you can right. make sure to have it in your villa here or even in New York in your apartment so that you don't you can get the results back within six hours. Yeah. We can. But that's oh, wow. you know, all through one friend, a client introducing me to someone else that works in that business. And it, yeah. it's that networking. And I think internet and technology in general has just helped with that expanding the network. Right. And again, being able to, we're doing a Zoom call right now. I mean, <laughs> I would be with everything, all the conferences having to be canceled, all our meetings have been doing over Zoom, been done over Zoom. Right. So you still connect and, and, and make sure that you, you remember where, you know, who's around and who's running which hotel. So I okay. think that's, I think that's a major part is just keeping people connected. It's even like family members when they keep not living in the same state and can't travel, yep. gives you a way to see somebody. For the people who are watching, where can they find more information about your business um, and how can they book with you guys? They can go to willingfoot.com and they can reach out on Willingfoot on Instagram and DM me. We're here. We're here to help. Travel's alive. It's coming back. Yeah, and a lot, of places, a lot of places still need to help with tourism. And Correct. You know, it's time to move one foot in front of the other and move forward. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on the show. I'm, I'm yeah. so Thank you for having us. Yes, thank you. Yes, of course, and thank you for taking your time. We'll get you down here to Turks. Yes, please. <laughs> Don't play with my emotions. If there's good fishing down there, I'm so there.